But Squad Summary, where you at? Your motivation guy is back. Your friend, the one and only Keith Allen. I'm pumped up. You know why? Because it's another day, another opportunity for you to be great. But you got to believe it for yourself, guys. Man, I'm here to motivate you. But at the same time, you got to motivate yourself. You got to have your dreams and vision in line and just go after it, all right? You know, I want to ask you this. Are you guys enjoying the new grappling hooks? Okay, what about these new POI? Well, while most of us are busy training and learning the best landing spots and items to carry us to victory, there are just still some things that have fallen between the cracks. Yeah, that's right, guys. Season three has secrets and we're all here to reveal them. Okay, here is everything that you might have missed. But before we get started, it's time to sit back, relax, and get some of my favorite candy. What is it, y'all? Come on. It's that bunch of crunch. Yeah, and let's get this going. All right, so one of the best POI right now is Reality Falls. You may know it as a big tree in the mushroom biome, and there's plenty of players that want to land there. But, you know, this area also has some secrets, and unless you make it a frequent landing spot for yourself, you might have missed some key details in the area. Okay, so Reality Falls is similar to Shifty Shaz because you might not notice how big the POI actually is if you've only landed a few times. Okay, so the POI actually runs much deeper, and if you travel behind the waterfalls, you're going to see that there are tunnels back here with loot and other goodies. And so while you may have notice the entrances to these tunnels around the sides. Some players tend to miss the fact that the waterfalls are walked through. There is no actual wall dividing the inside of the tunnel with the exterior. So if you need to make a quick getaway because you find yourself trapped by an enemy, you can always make a quick escape through the water. So this isn't the only secret behind the falls. Like you may have noticed a smaller tunnel within the cave system. If you've been playing Fortnite for the past few weeks, you have noticed a nearly indestructible pile of rocks blocking the entrance to this tunnel. Okay, some of you might have even used the cow catcher trick to break through this wall and discover the secrets of hiding within. Luckily, it seems that at long last, the tunnel is now open for everybody to go in. So what was behind these rocks this entire time? Okay, none other than some remnants from chapter two. So now you're gonna be able to find some secret NPCs just chilling back there. In particular, okay, these are members of Shadow and Ghost from the old Shadowverse Ghost season way back then. At least things have calmed down back here and there is a truce. Not to mention a bit of loot and some good bit of banjo music. All right, be careful though, guys. Attacking any one of them will result and all three of the NPC back here to team up on you. You know, it seems like they have their own trio going on. Let me ask you guys this. Do you guys know what it takes to be a Fortnite pro? Then click on the link below and visit ProGuys.com. There, we're going to hook you guys up with all the latest strategies and help you plan for your next big tournament. Learn how to create your own loot route, master combat skills, and more. Still need help? Okay, ask our team of pro-level coaches and you too can reach higher levels of skill. All right, guys, next on this list is for all you Battle Pass grinders out there. This season's Battle Pass is chock full of fantastic skins from Sabina's Burning Embers to Darth Vader himself. Now, we've always had a pretty cool tier 100 skin, and this time is no different. Though some of you guys might be a little bit disappointed that it doesn't come with its own lightsaber for a pickaxe, it just makes sense why it wasn't added. You know, having a lightsaber added could cause confusion if they add back lightsaber weapons in game, which based on trailers will definitely be added sometime in the future. Future. Meanwhile, we need to grind up all the way to level 100 for now to just get the base battle pass done with. But hold your horses, guys, because this season things are just a little different. Like you might have noticed that levels require even more XP than they did last season to go up a tier. Last season, we had a requirement of 75,000 XP per tier. This time, we have an 80,000 requirement, meaning that a full level 100 grind will require around 500,000 more XP than usual to accomplish. Now, this may seem daunting when you crunch the numbers together, but don't fret, guys. Epic has recently buffed the XP gains in response to players mentioning how little XP they were getting at the start of the season. So go out there and grind. All right, so next is something eerily funny. A few videos ago, we mentioned a POI known as The Block in one of our videos. The Block is an interesting social experiment where POI are added to the game made for the player by the player. And we talked about how interesting it was because it diversifies the types of POI available on the map. Each week, new locations are gonna be featured, and this time around, we're gonna be seeing them pop in Tilted Towers. Last season, we saw Tilted Towers get absolutely demolished by an IO during the war. Luckily, the Islanders have begun reconstruction all over the POI and select space will be reserved for the community to submit their craziest designs. As of now, they're still constructing, but soon, guys, we're going to be in for a real treat. All right, but you guys saw me. It's time for the question of the day. You guys ready for this? Here we go. What was the most memorable moment for you in Fortnite's past? It can even be something from this chapter. Put your answers in the comments section below, and we'll definitely check it out. 
All right, so now comes the part of our video that gets a little bit sad. During season one of the current chapter, we watch as the snow melted away, giving us Clombos that had recently awoken from hibernation. So Clombos were a fan favorite in addition to the island giving us new ways to rotate and overall, just being a friendly beast that you could just feed in exchange for goodies. Everything changed when the IO attacked during season two and suddenly all the Clombos were missing. All right, so where did they go? Had they been captured by the IO or did they just go into hiding? Some evidence existed that Clombos had merely gone back into hibernation, but overall, they stayed beneath the snow once more. This season, we have our answer. The Clombos are dead. They are no more. They are expired. Yes, they're gone. <laughs> And so if you go on the map today, you're going to find a Clombo skull sticking out of the ground. Does this mean our time with the Clombos are over or are they just forever lost? Well, this Clombo may be dead, but we had a whole herd of them in the past. So with any luck, there's still some left somewhere on the island. We're just going to have to wait and see if they someday return. In the meantime, guys, I hope they add Clombos to create us so I could just have a Clombo zoo. I really do mean that. All right, chapter three has definitely been the type for making callbacks to previous seasons of Fortnite. You know, season three is no different. This time we have three different callbacks to look at. And the first is an old friend from chapter one. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm talking about Dusty Depot. This metallic structure can be found all the way in the bottom left hand side of the map in the mushroom biome. In fact, most of these callbacks can be found in the same as that biome. Dusty Depot might be a little worse for wear, but it's still a reminder of how far Fortnite has come over the years. Another interesting nod to the past is the chair. I mean, this was another chapter one icon and you can find it near the same area. It looks like players, you know, made walls and floors, but this is a naturally generated structure. I mean, it's often gonna spawn two chests in the seat. So if you happen to pass by, don't forget to loot. Finally, guys, we have the shark. That's right. You might remember the shark from chapter two. I mean, this stone structure was a menacing base once in a lifetime, right? But now it's just another structure that has this cropped up during this current season of Fortnite. I mean, it's always a welcome sight to see the shark back simply because of what it represents, the Dawn of the Ghost V Shadow, which is finally remembered as one of the coolest season of Fortnite and one we all really want a sequel to. So one thing that you might have definitely noticed is that you can now ride boars and wolves. They make pretty decent alternatives to cars, but there's still a lot that you could do with them that you probably don't even know yet. So let's just start with something simple. You don't need me to tame a wolf. All you really need to do is just land on their back. And from here on out, you're gonna be able to ride the wolves as far as their legs can take you. If you guys run enough distance though, your animal is gonna get tired. So just definitely be prepared to either wait for them to get more energy or just feed them food to get them right back on their feet. You know, one thing that really makes riding the local wildlife so amazing is the fact that you you can perform multiple actions while doing so. Like you can aim your weapon, you can shoot, you can even build your way to victory without getting off your animal. Just imagine boxing up and just setting up defenses this way. Also, if you guys decide to go skywards, they actually absorb fall damage, guys. Take advantage. So just keep that in mind if you ever need to sacrifice your riding animal to get away from an opponent. All right, so before we wrap things up today, don't forget to click on the link below and visit Pro Guys for some extra level coaching. But of course, Tommy, that's gonna be it for today's video. Connecting with my Instagram at Your Motivation Guy. I believe in you. I am your number one fan. If you guys like the video, subscribe to the channel. You know, there are still so many new things to uncover this season. So remember to keep an eye out. You know, sometimes Epic can be quite sneaky with their updates. So you guys definitely gotta just check up on things every single day. Hey, we'll see you on the next one. Keep grinding. Peace.